Welcome to this tutorial on creating custom digital maps using Google My Maps. To get started, open your web browser and search for Google My Maps. Click on the first search result, which will take you to the Google Maps website where you can create your own personalized maps. First, you will need to log into your Google account. Enter your email address and password, then click sign in. I'll skip this step as I have already signed in. Once you are logged in, you will be taken to a blank page. Can you see the tab labeled create a new map? Click on that to begin. A dialog box will pop up. Go ahead and click create to start a new map project. All the maps you create will be automatically saved here in Google My Maps as well as in your Google Drive. This is the main interface you will be working with to build your custom map. Let's start by naming your map. For this example, we'll call it Major Dams of India. In the description field, you can add some context such as Class 10th CBSE Map Items water resources click save when you are done next let's name the layer we will be working with the default is untitled layer go ahead and rename that to dams of india and save your changes now we can start adding specific locations to the map in the search bar type in salal dam and hit the search button. A location pin will automatically be placed at the dam's location on the map. Click the add to map button to include this pin. With the Salal dam location pin added, you will see several editing options appear. Let's go through these one by one. First click on style icon. Here you can customize the appearance of the location pin, change the color, choose a different icon, or even upload a custom icon. Since we couldn't find an icon that looked like a dam, let's upload a custom one. Click on custom icons and choose Google images option. Search for dam icons and select an appropriate one to use as the pin. I'll choose this one. Next, click on the pencil icon to edit the information for this map location pin. You can add a description such as this dam is built on the Chinab River in Jammu and Kashmir. Now let's add an image to this map pin. Click on the camera icon, which will bring up a similar interface to the custom icon uploader. Again, choose the Google Images option and find an image of the Salal Dam to insert. This one looks beautiful, doesn't it? I'll select this and insert that into the location pin. Excellent. Our first map pin is all set up. Let's add one more. This time, a dam from the south, Tunga Bhadra. Type in Tunga Bhadra in the search bar and hit enter. No sooner you do it than the pin is placed on the location. Click on the style icon. The dam icon which we used earlier appears now. Choose this icon. Edit the information. I will type in this is a major dam of Karnataka built on the river Tunga Bhadra. Recall, it was on the banks of this river that the great Vijayanagara Empire flourished. You can continue this process adding more dams and customizing the pins as needed. Once you are done, take a look at other options on the map interface. You can add additional layers, share the map and preview how it will appear. Let's preview our map. Click on the preview button. This will open your custom map in a new window. This is how your map will appear on the web. In the preview, you can see the location pins we added for the dams. 
if you click on the satellite image option and zoom in you can actually see the real world imagery of the dams it's quite a marvel isn't it now let's go back to the google my maps interface click on the share button in the pop-up window you will see an option to anyone with the link can view toggle this on if you want to allow anyone with the link to access your map you can even make your map searchable by enabling this one enable both of them once you have chosen your sharing settings copy the link that's generated you can paste this link into your digital portfolio or share it directly with your friends and family if you have a blog or website you can also embed your map directly onto the page to do this click on the menu button next to the name of your map select embed on my site option this will bring up an iframe code snippet simply copy this code and paste it into the html of your web page or blog post this will embed the interactive google my maps right onto your site this covers the basic workflow for creating an interactive digital map using google my maps now you have the skills to create your own custom maps using google my maps don't you don't forget to add the link to your finished map in your digital portfolio thanks for watching